Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well. In this video, I will talk about a new feature which is available on 10 of 10 of 42 financial operation version. And this feature is all about to see the invoice amount, total invoice amount in pending vendor invoice form. So as of now, there has been a issue or problem statement, I would say that even if we have invoice pending vendor invoice we don't see those total in the list form right we have invoice imported invoice amount total form but it is part of the vendor invoice automation which means if any invoice comes from the ocr technology or ocr invoice imported that that time only we can see the total invoice amount if the invoice is created in dynamics directly that invoice total amount we cannot see in the line vendor list vendor invoice list page so this this problem statement is now mitigated uh, from 1042 version where we can see the invoice total here we will see how it is done so as of now to see the in total amount of invoice we need to check on totals then only the total amount of invoice is to show right so here to do that we need to enable a feature from feature management which is this one use cached uh, invoice total in vendor list vendor invoice list page and once it is enabled you need to go to vendor uh, accounts payable module and from accounts payable parameter under invoice you need to enable this display invoice total on pending vendor invoice list page so once you enable it, you will see a warning message as selecting this option will slow the performance of loading pending vendor invoice list form. The drill down list forms from the workspace vendor invoice center are not covered. So what it is saying is, even though we have added this, the Microsoft has added it as a, uh, as a field, but this can lead to a slower performance because the calculation is you know, happening in the runtime, right? So as of now, we have been doing this as a customization, but this is not available in standard product. So let's see, we will go to pending vendor invoice and maybe we can create a pending vendor invoice without any purchase order to ease or to an interest of time. So I will select this vendor. I will give maybe a uh, test one, two, three, invoice subscription, invoice date, and then we will go to lines and we will create multiple lines to see whether it is creating you know calculating correct correct uh, total or not so i will select cylinder right 800 rupees and uh, one line is done and then i will go to another line maybe i will select another another item which is a uh say this one okay uh, here also 700 right save it save it so the total is now if we show the total it is 1500 right total invoice amount is 1500 so uh, this total can be seen from totals oh it is not calculating oh i got it so basically uh, what we need to do we need to filter it newest to old days we have created the invoice this one test one two three so now if i go on right side if you see the invoice total is coming as a total invoice one five zero zero this is the new field which is which has been added by the feature manager by the new feature which is uh, the new feature we have enabled from the uh, feature management and from the in-app accounts level parameter there is a new you know enhancement i would say a new field addition by the microsoft dynamics team and I, would, I would definitely say this is a good one and i hope this will be uh, helpful for other or you as well so that's it for this video thanks for watching stay tuned for another video like this bye for now